All right, y'all, it's the face-off. CM Punk and Hangman Adam Page. Let's Yep. This crowd raunchy tonight. I don't even know what's going on. I think it's safe to say that the biggest moment of my career happened right here in Las Vegas. Yeah. I'm grateful to be in the position I'm in. I love all of you fans across the world. Walking into Sunday, double or nothing, the challenger, and very respectfully walking out, the champion. Ooh. Champ, there is no doubt you know who you have to face. You know, as the world does about CM Punk, but the confidence level is off the charts for the challenger. Okay. I'm not exactly sure why you seem to be taking this so personally. You're the champ for a reason. You're Hangman Adam Page. You're possibly the toughest son of a bitch on this roster, and you hold the gold for a reason. There's a locker room full of people like me waiting in line to get their shot. This is just business to me. It's my title shot. This is not personal. I know. I feel like there's a lot of respect here. But, go ahead. Look at Tony once again. It always happens. I said three weeks ago exactly what I was going to do to you. I said I was going to destroy you. Why? Why is it so personal to you, Hangman? And I did not mean at double or nothing. Hold up, bro. Right, right now. Whoa, what, what for? You haven't given a reason. See, I've been waiting for this moment, not for weeks, but for months. I imagine myself maybe sitting up at the top of that ramp cross-legged. Bro, where is all this hatred coming from? You're not ex- How cathartic it would feel, how good it would feel, and how full circle for you, huh? Right here in Vegas. But now that we're here, I need to know what the problem is, bro. You gotta explain it to me. I just, I don't think it's the right thing to do. 
but I will tell you face to face, man to man, how I feel about you. Okay, here we go. I don't hate you. I almost pity you. Pity. And I have no respect for you and what you've done since you've gotten here. Why? You won this AEW World Championship. You won it. I don't think you understand what it means to be a champion after all these years. I don't think you get it because it's not just about what happens in this ring. It's what happens when that red light turns off. What happens when you go back through the curtain, those small, quiet moments when you think no one's watching. That's what makes a champion. You talk a big game about workers' rights, yeah? Well, you've shown the exact opposite since you've gotten here. Whoa, wait, what? This is the best promo he cut since this company started, bro. I ain't even gonna cap. Like I said, man, I don't know why you're so angry. I don't know why you're taking this personally. It makes me a little bit confused. Kind of talking in circles, and it's a big riddle. But if you're so upset that I'm here, you're gonna have to do something about it on Sunday. Win, lose, or draw. I respect you, Hangman. But remember, those roads you traveled to get here, they were paved by me. Dang, punk! Constructed with lumber from trees that I chopped down. Oh, talk to these people. The world you traveled to get here to create all elite wrestling happened because I gave you the blueprint. Yo. Woo. You will shake my hand someday. In fact, you know what, hey man, you're gonna shake my hand right now. Yo, what is happening? All your misplaced anger. You ain't mad at me. You're mad at myself. You're such. Shake my hand. Oh, fight. Oh. Oh, dang. Hangman dropped him. And they're looking like Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, Eggman, like, like I said, bro, the reason why I say that was the best promo he cut is because it sounded like he meant every word he said. But, like, at the same time, it did sound a little... Oh, like, like he was trying to figure it out for himself, but he didn't know. But I, I like how this is looking, though. I like this. Bro, I can't wait for this Sunday, bro.